Welcome to ITV News Central. On our program tonight... I swear by Almighty God... ...that the evidence I shall give... The, the former health secretary to tells an inquiry he was not responsible for the contaminated blood given to patients in the Midlands in the 1980s. I was never the minister directly responsible for blood products. I was never asked to take a decision on blood products. I never intervened to take a decision on blood products. Relatives of those who died in the NHS's worst treatment disaster watched Lord Clark's evidence, hoping for answers they'd waited 40 years to hear. If he wasn't responsible, he must know who is. Someone's responsible. Good evening. For four decades, the relatives of people who died from infected blood given to them by the NHS have been searching for answers. Thousands of people, many of them haemophiliacs, were given blood imported from America, which was contaminated with HIV. Today, the former health minister and Nottinghamshire MP, Ken Clark, gave evidence to an inquiry. He said he was not responsible for the scandal. But his manner and comments have angered relatives. Mark Goff has been watching the hearing. Ken Clark, now Lord Clark, was a health minister in the 1980s when concerns over the safety of blood products being used to treat haemophiliacs first came to light. Thousands of haemophiliacs went on to develop HIV, AIDS and hepatitis from receiving clotting agents such as Factor VIII and plasma, which had been made from contaminated blood. The inquiry is looking at what the government knew and when. Today, Lord Clark told the hearing that even though he was a health minister, he had no responsibility for blood products. I was, I was never the minister directly responsible for blood products. I was never asked to take a decision on blood products. I never intervened to take a decision on blood products. Jason Evans from Coventry, whose father Jonathan died after receiving blood products, has led the campaign for this inquiry, which has been closely watched too by Rhiannon Hassan from Derby, whose husband David died in 1998 after contracting HIV and hepatitis C from contaminated blood. The inquiry was told today that the government took four months to decide to circulate a leaflet asking people who are at high risk of contracting AIDS not to donate blood to prevent infected blood being used to make clotting agents. Lord Clark was asked by lead counsel for the inquiry, Jenny Richards QC, about the delay and about the importance of getting the message out quickly. Did you understand, Lord Clark, that one donation from someone who had AIDS could lead to the infection with AIDS of large numbers of individuals. I realised it was a strong possibility. We didn't know that then. But there was more and more concern that it was a very, it's a very distinct possibility. And it was, you know, that, 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 if not probably, that, that, that it did look as though there was a serious risk uh, that you, you, one person could infect. Yes, I did know that. Lord Clark said he wanted to ensure the message wasn't issued in such a way as to cause panic, which would deter people from giving blood. At one point today, Lord Clark said the level of detail he was being asked was pointless, which led to the tribunal chairman intervening. Well, well it is. Uh, what's, what's the relevance of all this? What well, difference I, did it make I, on the I, ground? I, I think the, the relevance ultimately, Lord Clark, is, is for me to determine... No. Uh, if I think that the questions are, are unhelpful, then uh, I'll indicate uh, that. But um, in the moment, it would help be helpful to me, I think, uh, and we may get on a little bit more quickly if um, we just deal with the questions as, as they come and, and leave the, the motive or the, the, the purpose of asking the questions to cancel. And, and uh, Anyway, the leaflet has been distributed. Lord Clark continues his evidence tomorrow. Mark Goff, ITV News. We've been getting reaction to Lord Clark's evidence from the relatives of those who died. Rhiannon Hatton from Derby lost her husband David in 1998. And Jason Evans from Coventry lost his father Jonathan. The way he's approached giving evidence is appalling. He's told the inquiry that he thought some evidence was pointless. He's used the word irrelevant in terms of the evidence. 
he, he's been speaking over the inquiry's council, he's been interrupting the inquiry's chairman, Sir Brian Langstaff. And to be honest, having spoken to the victims and families that are there today, they're just appalled. But if he wasn't responsible, he must know who is. Someone's responsible. And I'm sure they've got the evidence somewhere that'll tell us who's responsible. He was at the top of his tree at the time. He was in charge of medical, health, all the matters that are so closely related to the situation we find ourselves in. Of course, he should know. Well, Lord Clark is due to give evidence to the inquiry for two more days, and we will, of course, bring you any developments from the hearing on this programme.